advantages and disadvantages of LIFO. Now, we're really harping on LIFO here, and you can kind of tell, well, a disadvantage to LIFO is probably an advantage to FIFO. So advantages, it matches more recent costs with current revenues. Uh, with LIFO, with increasing prices, LIFO yields the lowest taxable income, assuming inventory does not decrease. So at constant levels, right? Lowest taxable income because it have the highest costs. With reduced taxes, cash flow is improved, and the need to write down inventory to market is lower. Disadvantages usually does not reflect the physical flow of goods. Let's keep that in mind. That's, I'd say, the biggest disadvantage or one that we could think of the most, right? That really affects us. Last in, first out. It's usually first in, first out. What you get in first gets sold first. LIFO yields the lowest net income or earnings. So that's a pro and a con, right? That's a, a pro because you get lower taxable income, but you'll also report lower net income or earnings. The ending inventory is understated relative to current costs. LIFO involuntary liquidation may result in income that is detrimental from a tax view. This is that LIFO liquidation, the layers, and LIFO may cause poor buying habits because of layer liquidation problem, right? A couple different issues there. Basically, everything we just kind of saw was a, a problem with LIFO.